And uh, good evening, Giron. Thank you very much for your time. You write a very interesting article, and you write, the protection of a few thousand jobs at SAA does not warrant billions in ongoing subsidies. And it sounds like Tito and Buweni a few months ago. Uh, it's clearly not that simple. What's at play here? Yeah, well, um, Sally, we've got a struggling country with uh, so many millions of people in desperate need, uh, many of them in desperate need of food every single day. And yet at the same time, um, we've got proposals to invest um, further billions into SAA. As, uh, as, as we know, over 50 billion has gone into SAA over, over the last couple of decades um, to no effect. And it just feels like, you know, is this really the best way to be spending government funds. So the 10 billion that is meant to be used for this business rescue plan, and we know that it's got to be voted on on the 14th, but we also know uh, that if Treasury doesn't say, look, here's the money by the 22nd of July, it's all going to fall apart anyway. Uh, so is this, is this a bit of a futile discussion in a sense? I mean, is there actually going to be money made available for any business rescue plan, which we know gives the creditors some money and also gives packages to those who need to be retrenched? Well, I think as South Africans, uh, we can only hope not because what, you know, what we've seen over the years is, um, is there's money going in and, it, and it does, it's not just one amount of money. You know, it's not just 10 billion today. It's this ongoing requirement that, is, uh, you know, that, that SAA has uh, had on the fiscus for so many years. Um, and the big question is, um, you know, do we need to be funding a uh, state airline? You have private airlines that are doing, uh, doing the job, that are doing the job well. You have foreign airlines flying into South Africa. And at the end of the day, flying um, only about 5% of South Africans are privileged en enough to get on an aeroplane. Um, so, you know, to, 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 to make such a big investment in, uh, in the wealthy 5% of South Africans also doesn't seem to make sense. And you say in your article, we don't need a state-funded airline, that the state government should actually regulate and provide infrastructure. I know that you have been speaking uh, with the department, uh, that you're consulting with them and trying to assist them. Do they agree with you? Uh, I'm not sure if they do. Um, you know, uh, also, also, you know, the quantums of money um, that, that are spoken about are, you know, are, are very difficult to get one's head around. Um, you, we're in a situation, um, you know, uh, in, a, in a situation globally where aviation has had a, a disastrous uh, time over the last few months. It's very uncertain when people will be allowed to fly, when they'll be comfortable to fly. So, you know, the thought of putting further billions into, you know, into state-funded airlines that we know is going to just continue, continuously require further funding is, uh, is hard to understand. Do you think there's appetite, bearing in mind uh, the global crisis for aviation, in a private funder coming on board, investing in a, a rebirthed SAA, if you will? Well, I suppose, I suppose it depends on, on, on the terms of that. You know, we know that, you know, um, these things have got to be commercially run. They've got to be incredibly efficient. I think the post-COVID world, in my view, is going to require um, such focus on efficiency and, to, you know, building things from the ground up and, uh, and not having this waste that we're so used to having uh, building up over years. So, you know, it would have to be efficient. It would have to be privately run. And, um, and then, you know, and then there's a possibility whether that capital exists in the quantums that I'm talking about, I doubt it. Um, and, and again, private enterprise has done a, a good job over the years. Um, you had Comair, uh, you know, as a major player in the industry that, you know, was profitable for 70 years in a row, uh, as one example. So, um, so, so that's where we stand. So now Coma is one of the creditors. They're owed money by SAA. If government doesn't provide this 10 billion for this business rescue plan, they'll get nothing. Do you think that's fair? No, I don't think it's fair at all. Um, you know, that, uh, you know that, that they're on the other side of it. And you know, just generally speaking, to have a situation where you have private competitors paying their taxes um, and, and, and running profitable businesses, paying taxes, and then those taxes are effectively going into a competitor and funding a competitor. Uh, you know, doesn't uh, doesn't seem fair, and uh, and is not in the best interests of uh, of travellers, of the tourism industry, which is really the industry that we should be supporting as uh, as much as possible. That's the industry that you know South Africa can compete in incredibly well. 
um, and it's an industry that needs a well-functioning um, aviation sector. Mm. So, so even though, as you say, it's not fair, you would still support that actually no more money is given towards this bailout, towards this rescue plan. Is that what you're saying? And that implies, of course, for Kalula, which of course is the airline that you founded, you're no longer involved, of course. Yeah, well, you know, money is far out, and I think you know now more than ever we we, we are realizing that uh, it, it's not uh, it's not endless. It's far out, um, and 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 what are the priorities that we have as a country? Um, one of those priorities surely has got to be putting food into people's into people's mouths. With tens of millions of hungry people, that need to be fed, um, that can be fed, and uh, and are not being fed. And uh, instead, you know, money going into into uh, into airlines. Kieran, what do you think is likely to happen? We've already established uh, that what you think should happen is unlikely to happen. Bearing in mind it's what Tito and Boweni wanted to happen. What do you think is likely to happen in the next few weeks? Sure. Well, I think it's all going to play itself out. Um, you know, um, I, I guess one always hopes that sanity prevails. You know, we've got such promise in this country. We're having a devastating time. Um, you know, it's likely to be a tough, you know, few years ahead, you know, and we can only hope that, that, that sound decisions are made in the best interests of all South Africans, not, you know, not a tiny um, uh, segment of South Africans that are privileged enough to fly every year. Well, thank you very much for your views this evening. Kalula.com founder, Gidon Novik.